Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how to edit a, an assignment in Google Classroom and Google Slides, like you will be doing today and tomorrow. So first of all, you're gonna click on my Google Classroom class, so fourth grade, or obviously third graders, you would click on third grade. And then it brings you to our stream. Now I mentioned Monday in our Meetup Monday that this stream is where it's a catch-all. It's where everything that I post goes. And it's very overwhelming to look at. It's super disorganized. And it's just kind of overwhelming. So at the bottom, you have some options for tabs. You see stream, which is what we're currently on, classwork, and then people. If you tap on the classwork tab, everything is organized into topics and just looks much nicer and much neater. So you can see here that we have our course information at the bottom. We have the first week of school and the activities we did then. This is where I post our Meetup Monday links. Our Digital Learner Digest go in that topic that's called Digital Learner Digest. Our daily agendas are next that I'm going to start posting just about every day or every other day, every couple days. And the assignments. I just added this tab to accommodate our kind of revamp in our digital learning. And you'll notice too, every topic has a different emoji. So whenever I post something, I'm gonna start putting emojis um, at the front of it. So if you see a star on something that I've posted, you know that's gonna be a daily agenda. If you see a newspaper type emoji, you know that's gonna be a digital learner digest. If you see a yellow heart, you know that's gonna be an assignment. So let's look at the Constitution Day WebQuest assignment. And if I had posted instructions or a note, they would show up here, but I didn't for this um, purpose. So if you look at the bottom, it says your work and it has like a grayish up arrow. You're gonna tap on that. And then it brings up your actual, um, the link to your Google Slides that are specifically for you. So when I post this, I tell Google to make a copy for each student so you each have your own individual copy. So to open your WebQuest, you're going to tap on the oval. It will say your name and then the title of the um, Google Doc or Google Slides that I have attached. So beside that yellow and white box. So we're just going to tap on that. Give it a second to load. And sometimes it might take a minute because it is kind of a lot to load. So here it's just showing you a preview of the Google Slides. Okay, there's not a whole lot you can do here. If you click on the pencil, it gives you the option to squiggle or write. And while this is great, there's a much easier way and um, more in-depth way that you can edit your Google Slides. So click or tap on the square that has the arrow coming out of it at the far right-hand corner. You're just going to tap on that. And it's going to automatically open Google Slides. So that's why you need to make sure that you have downloaded that app because it will make life a lot easier. So here I can scroll through my slides of this um, web quest or at the bottom I can see a bigger picture of the slides. I can jump to different ones. But let's go back to the beginning. Let's talk about a few of these icons at the top. So um, the arrow that is facing left that's gonna be an undo arrow. So if you make a mistake or you accidentally delete something, that's gonna be your go-to for undoing that action. So let's say that I deleted that text box. Uh-oh, I deleted the text box. Ms. Brewer, how do I get it back? You're just gonna click that left facing arrow and it brings it right back. Um, if you made too many undos, so let's say I deleted all of these. All right, oops, I deleted my text boxes. I want to bring two of them back, but I don't want the first one back. But I undid it too many times. I can redo it. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. The play button will just put this um, Google Slides into presentation mode. 
And for any videos that you wanna watch or links that you wanna click on, this might be the best way to do that. So here's a video, and you can see that it kinda of like glitched out for a second, but it came back, and it's gonna give you the option to actually play the video. It also gives the option to fast forward and rewind, all that good stuff. All right, so then on my next slide, I have a link. You just tap on the link, and for example, this link is a website where it lists all the presidents of the United States with the exception of the most recent, President Trump. And you're, you can learn more information about these presidents by clicking on their picture. So that will be super helpful in answering some of these questions. So when you're ready, let me do that again, just so I can describe it and show you. When you're ready to exit the link, just hit done in the upper left-hand corner. Okay. So to go to the next slide, you can tap. An important note to make, when you are in presentation mode, you cannot edit the Google Slides. So that's something to remember. All right. Let's look at one more thing before we continue. Um, on the very last slide, there are two games that you can play, and you're just going to get to those games by tapping on either picture. So, place the states. Let's say I want to play place the states. If I click on it, it automatically opens, which is awesome. I can hit done to go back to my presentation. Now, Branchomania opens a little bit differently. I can tap on it. And it's going to take me to the original site, but I can scroll down to find Branchomania, tap on the picture again, and it takes me right to the game. And also another note to make, if you don't ever have a done button, you can just use your finger and swap from the left side of your iPad toward the right, and it's kind of like a go backward button also. So to get out of presentation mode, it can be kind of hard sometimes. If you double tap really quickly and hit the X in the upper left-hand corner, it will take you back to Google Slides. Okay, so now let's get to the editing. On this first slide, you have several text boxes where you can type your answer to the questions that are being asked. So to select the text box, you tap on it once. To type in it, you tap on it twice, so you're double tapping very quickly. And you can backspace and then type your answer. Okay, so then at the bottom you can see on this slide that I have stated this is an opinion question, meaning there's no right or wrong answer. So just a little heads up for you guys there. So. You can, you have some options here at the top. You can bold it, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can change the font color. That changed it to pink. You can highlight it and choose different highlight colors. And that's what it looks like when you don't have it highlighted. So let's choose none. So these options here, you have left align, center, and then right align. That just moves the um, text to different parts of your text box or the page. You have options to bullet items or number them. Those indent ones you don't really need to worry about right now. This paint can will change the, um, the background color of your text box. And this pencil will change the color of your um, the outline of your text box. So it was black, it was blue, now it's black, and I'll change it back to blue. All right. I think that just about covers almost everything. Let's um, go back to Google Classroom and act like we have completely filled this out. Let me change this back to type here for Darius. Okay, so Ms. Brewer, I have finished all my slides. I'm ready to turn this in. So in the top, left hand corner there's an arrow it's like showing back you're going to tap on that back arrow so this brings you to your google slides dashboard where you can see all the google slides that you've ever done and if you're a fourth grader like darius is you may notice some things that we did last year so if you double click on your home button 
these are all the apps that you have opened today or recently or had open in the past at some point. So you can just click where it says classroom and any changes that you made will show up here. Obviously I fixed all mine back for Darius. So you won't be able to see any changes cause I didn't really make any or if I did, I changed them back. But this is back to where we preview the slides. Click the X in the left hand corner and it takes you back to Google Classroom. So the awesome thing about Google Slides is that it automatically saves your work. So anything that I edit or you edit when you do this, it will automatically save it. So we completed our slides. We're ready to turn them in. We're back on Google Classroom. The only thing you have to do now is super duper important and it's easy to forget. You wanna make sure you click on that green turn in button or third graders, yours will probably be pink. So you'll hit turn in again. And then at the bottom it says assignment turned in and you are good to go. If you guys have any questions or need help at all, don't hesitate to let me know, I am here to help. Good luck and have fun on this assignment. It's meant to be interesting and fun. I hope you all learned something new and I will talk to you soon.